Hey, what's up guys? It's Jake Smith here and welcome to Golden Memories. While it turns out I was on the naughty list this year, I'm gonna have to wear green for the Santa's Little Helper match. What that really means is I was gifted some of the crappiest women's wrestling figures by Santa. And we're talking about them on today's episode. All right guys, welcome to Golden Memories. I spilled. So we are talking some of the crappiest women's wrestling figures today. Some of these were actually awesome when I was a kid. Some of them are just train wrecks. So the first figure on our list, Jacqueline. So Jacqueline was one of the bone crunching action uh, line of figures. Um, I, basically the women never got the bone crunching action. The uh, men's figures would like have joints in them where they would like make kind of sounds. The women's figures were usually statues for the most part. They moved a little bit, you know, this Jacqueline's got like some Stacy Keebler high kicks going on. This was honestly a pretty lazy figure and Jacqueline deserved better. They gave her the body that they were using for a lot of Sable figures. She was feeding with Sable, so I'm guessing Jax was just kind of like, oh, okay, like, eh, hand in hand. The likeness is not great. Her head is actually a little bit smaller than the other bone crunching action women's heads. The thing that's my biggest problem with the figure is she debuted in the Signature Series line and those line of figures had the signature on the leg. It's kind of like a niche line, like almost like Stomp, which was when they were like superheroes, like underwater and like in space, like just really random. They could have had her debut in a normal line or in a two pack with Mark Miro or in a two pack with Sable, who was always a big seller, but instead they debuted her on her own. I used her with my Titantron Live one women later because they never made another Jacqueline again. Um, mainly because this figure just, it didn't sell well. It sold so bad that Jacqueline even mentioned it in a promo um, before Survivor Series 1999. I went to the toy store and all I saw were Jacqueline dolls. Rows and rows of Jacqueline dolls. Sold out of Rock, sold out of Austin, but they got plenty of Jacqueline dolls. Well, tonight that's all gonna change. It's a memorable figure. I think any women's wrestling fan likes this figure. Um, it's just, they could have done better and they never did her right. Um, she never got another figure. Mattel still hasn't even made her. She's been in the Hall of Fame for a few years now. Come on, get us together, Mattel. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, Jacqueline, but this figure... <sighs> Up next, this figure is a nightmare, literally. <coughs> so this is Deborah. She is, wow. Well, um, so this Deborah is from the Titantron Live line. The women also didn't get the Titantron Live feature. And if you don't know what the Titantron Live feature is, there was a stage, it had like maybe 10 entrance songs on it, like X-Pac, DX, uh, Vince McMahon, Gangrel, who had like one figure. Most of the superstars' chips like just played the raw themes, like <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, so the women always had like a little disclaimer on like the back of the box that was like, in an effort to create the best possible likeness, Deborah will not be Titantron Live ready. By that, I think they just mean, oh, women have dainty feet, so we can't make this work. Some of the figures actually had decent likenesses as they got along the way. But that's because they would scan in the faces of the superstars so they could get the best likeness possible. Hmm, that sounds like something you could have done in an effort to create the best possible likeness right off the bat. So this Deborah is pre-real scan, so that's why the face looks like stuff of nightmares. The pre-real scan figures, honestly, for the Titan Live line were just awful all around. The Triple H, it is the most terrifying thing you will ever see in your life. I don't know where, who, who is it? The only one that was like decent was Kane and that's only because he was in a mask. So this Deborah was actually scheduled to come out in a two pack with Jeff Jarrett. I remember being really excited about it. I wanted to recreate uh, matches with the China Titan Tron Life figure, which for some reason came with like a door with rats on it. Accessories were really strange. Jared obviously canceled, so Deborah was thrown in with Stone Cold despite them not really appearing on TV together at all. He was in like a hunting jacket or some crap and she was in this. My biggest gripe with this Deborah is, there's no puppies. None of the Deborah figures really had cleavage, unfortunately. One of her legs is actually like much longer than the other, so she kind of stands like sideways. 
It makes no sense. This is the only Deborah we got um, from Jack Specific's Titan Tron Live line, and it was worse than Deborah's cookies. Coming up next is probably the most disappointing figure debut I have ever seen. So for years, we did not get a Trish Stratus figure. And then we got this. So, so beautiful. Wow, uncanny. Basically what these figures were supposed to be like them in motion doing their finisher in the box. I mean, hers came with Jeff Hardy. She was like behind him and like they were on top of him. It was very confusing. There was also a Lita figure in this line. I remember it being removed from store shelves. I mean, granted, it's wrestling, not really what was going on there, but you know, the crazy people of Walmart, they had an Al Snow taken off the shelves because it came with a mannequin head. Okay. So this Trish figure, I was really pissed about it. We really had to wait a long time for this Trish Stratus figure. I remember using like other figures in place of Trish. I had a baby spice that had like a ponytail and a jacket that I used for a little bit. And then I broke her. She got thrown out of the ring in my action figure, Women's Royal Rumble. It's 10 people because there were like no women's figures. So I had to replace her with a Britney Spears figurine from the crazy video. So she was wearing like a green tank top. It actually would have made a great Tory with one R, not a Wilson. This is like in one of her outfits, probably circa 2002. We didn't get anything of her in her TNA days. Nothing of her with Vince McMahon. I will say, it's pretty cool that it's like an actual cloth outfit like kind of reminds me of Barbies which I love Barbies it actually kind of looks like Carmella if she had bad teeth and then it has like that there's something about Mary hair which I hated I hated these figures so much Triple H had like troll doll hair where it was like standing straight up like ah! I mean, she got a, ended up getting a really great figure with the Raw 10th anniversary set. It came with the cowboy hat, the finger pointing. I think they used the Molly Holly body for her, which worked great for Trish. It was an awesome figure. But this was a really disappointing debut figure for Trish. Yeah, I just, I, no. <laughs> Speaking of disappointing debut figures, oh, this one made me so sad. Victoria. I was really waiting for a Victoria figure for a long time. They basically skipped over anything of her from like 2002. I think this one actually came out maybe 2004, 2005. And this is what we got. So the cool thing is Victoria was the first ruthless aggression style woman. You know, they were releasing women still for a little bit in like two packs mainly. Like we had a Tori Wilson repaint. Um, she was with a Billy Gunn figure. She was using like the Lita body for a little bit with the Tori head, but actually was a great likeness. We got a Stacey Keebler and like her pink t-shirt and the white shorts um, that came with the test, but none of them were the ruthless aggression style and it was a trial and error the face is great it's awesome um i wouldn't have picked this attire like it's not the right cut for her top it's whatever um but the arms like why 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 are these so long these are like the length of her body these are crazy if she doesn't have her armbands on the later ruthless aggression women were awesome there's a great lita that came with i think it was matt hardy there's a great trish with the jumpsuit victoria was redeemed they made her wrestlemania 20 outfit with the white shorter arms and the armbands and she came with the women's title this sucked um it was in two pack with stephen richards in the adrenaline series i'm sorry victoria you deserved a better debut figure now looking at some newer figures, the Mattel figures were great right off the bat. They had Beth Phoenix, Mickey James. I loved Maurice's first figure, but like, you know, just like Jax, there's bound to be a few crappy ones. Unfortunately, the one I'm gonna highlight is the recently divorced Lana. Before, you know, Lana left Reset for Lashley, she left him for Dolph Ziggler. Back in 2015, she was rocking an all denim outfit, got the ponytail, which we didn't really see before. The shoes were the sneakers. And this is supposed to be denim, but it's actually more just like, like a cow print in blue. The face. I wish I recorded my husband's reaction when I showed him this because he thought it was Triple H's face by accident. She hasn't really had great luck. Her figures with the suits with Rusev were great with the bun. I'd love to see her in wrestling gear. Yeah, you did her dirty Mattel. And the last figure we're gonna highlight. I actually really love this figure, but there's a major problem with it. It's a Titantron Live Stephanie McMahon figure. 
I was really excited about this figure because um, she was in the leather pants with like the sweater for a lot of her figures. I hated that look. Like Stephanie was on TV like rocking these like cute dresses. Her figures just like didn't match what we were seeing on TV. This figure. I mean, I was never really a big fan of this scan, to be honest. I know people love it. For me, it didn't super look like Steph. I do love the dress, but if you have this figure, I think you know the major problem. Where are your panties, Steph? Yeah, so for some reason, Jax decided to not paint panties on this Stephanie McMahon figure. But what makes it worse is like, there's definite molds on it to make it look like something. Yeah, I haven't seen too many of those, so I can't describe how accurate or inaccurate that actually is. But yeah, so this Stephanie figure, um, yeah. So that's like super fun. I think they did re-release it, um, you know, with some clothes on. This Stephanie is one of the crappiest figures, unfortunately, but I still use it in my wrestling figure fed all the time. All right, guys, it's time for my favorite portion of the show when I ask my husband questions about wrestling that he has no idea what the answers are. Um, you might notice a little guest we have here today. Doug, who is this? This is our new dog, Ralph. We couldn't film without him barking at the door. And I have to hold him because he likes to shit on the rug. Yeah. So. So if he shits on the carpet, he goes back to the shelter, right, Ralph? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but we're really excited to have a new member of the fam. So Doug, uh, today our show is all about some of the crappiest women's wrestling figures. Did you ever get any toys as a kid that like you just thought were like crappy? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, not women's wrestling. Well, like, what, what, what was your like niche thing? So like Doug always like gets on my case because like I love women's wrestling toys and he like didn't have a thing. He's like, oh, you have like all these collectibles and like I don't have any. Like, what is your hobby? Like, what are your interests? Oh, you know, I don't really have any. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's taking care of me. What an interest. I found some figures of women that I know you'll know. So I'm gonna see if you can guess who they are by their likeness of their figurine. Okay. All right. I think you'd know who all of them are. No. I'm pretty sure, um, we'll find out. We'll probably right. talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> who is this? <laughs> um. Really big thighs. <laughs> God. Like, I would almost say though, it almost looks like Bailey. It doesn't with Bailey! <laughs> Bailey wearing her signature red sweater. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it's it not Bailey. I know. This is Stephanie McMahon. That, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see. Do you sort of see it? She does not have thighs like that. Though. No, she doesn't. So like this was actually one of Stephanie, uh, this might've been her very first action figure. So this Stephanie is based off of when she was a heel for the first time with Triple H. Um, but yeah, no, this is Stephanie McMahon. Great one. So who is this? Ooh, God, it's not like Maurice, is it? Maurice? Wait, is that the right person? Oh, I don't well, her name is not Maurice. Is Mickey James in that Maurice? It's actually Maurice, not Maurice. Oh, sorry. Maurice. Um, I was looking Gotta roll the R's. Oh, know. I didn't know it was spelled like Wait, that. can you roll your R's for everyone? No. Please do it. Maurice. Oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> it was not as embarrassing <laughs> as <laughs> Backfire. Sorry, so your guess is Maurice. What, or it looks maybe like Lana. This is actually Sable. Um, I wouldn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like actually from uh, her debut outfit. Um, she was with Triple H for like literally a hot minute when he was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Obviously not Sable's best look. I mean, she looks great in anything, but I'd rather see her in the leather Sable bomb shirts, kick pads, you know, the whole deal. So, but that was Sable. She had figures that were different and like basically in a thong, like after <laughs> that one. <laughs> so who is this? Maria. <gasps> How did you guess that? Oh, you the, looked at the belt buckle? The oh, belt. shit. I was, yeah. oh, damn it. But I would not have guessed. Though. Yeah, that's Maria. Some might say she's the hottest diva. Maria is the hottest diva to enter the ring, and now she's the hottest diva to post for Playboy. But yeah, no, that's Maria. 
Um, oh, that Maria. Yeah, wait, what, Mar what other Maria? I don't know. I just... Oh, the Maria now is the same Maria. Well, yeah, I just didn't know that's who we were talking about. Yeah, no, I mean, this was like was 2006, like... 2007. Okay. Like, that Maria is the same Maria now. She was in WWE before she was in WWE now, and like okay. pregnant all the time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That is not Shayna Baszler. Uh, she is mean mugging though. I can see it. She on currently? She works there currently. Rosa? Rosa? Rosa left like three years ago, uh, Doug. Wow. She had a baby and uh, was like, Pella, bye. Stop yelling. <laughs> it's Mickey James. Okay. <laughs> like she popped in my head, but like it doesn't look anything like it's her. It's so really a guess. terrible likeness. Um, she did have like another figure where like her face was just kind of like, <laughs> like oh um, that's that's her. Yeah, I don't know what the look is supposed to be here. It's like they scanned her, but she wasn't ready to be scanned. Looks like she had her mouth guarded. And who is this? Ooh, is she like one of the people that you talk about a lot? Like. Tori or Kelly Kelly or so every blonde is Kelly Kelly. I on the know. Show, just so you guys know. Yes. So <laughs> it's gonna be his guess for every blonde. Yeah. Um so are you gonna get you wanna guess Tori or Kelly? Um unless you're gonna give me a hint that's probably I really my don't want to. Charlotte? I, fuck you. <laughs> yes, this is Charlotte. Oh, okay. You got that one. Yeah, so this is Charlotte from like her NXT days. Yeah. Um, this was her first action figure. I remember being really excited for this figure, but like looking back at it now, she's had some way better figures. But um, yeah, no, this is not her best. So, but yeah, no, you actually, I'm surprised you did better than I thought you would. You got I one and on you cheated one. on one. Yeah. So yeah, not too bad. All right, well, I expect to see many a wrestling figure under the tree on Christmas. Happy holidays, thanks, babe. Can you take the dog so he doesn't shit? Of course. Bye, Ralphie. We gotta talk about it. I heard the you fucked up chants. They were loud and clear. You guys wanted to see more of Lita on the TLC list. You didn't agree with the segment I had chosen for her. And you know what? I hear you. I was really hoping to highlight some other less talked about moments. We all know Lita is the queen of extreme, the queen of TLC, dare I say. She's the first woman to really get involved with that type of match before WWE even had matches just for the women that were TLC matches. You know, I really probably should have shown a better moment for a debut episode apparently because that left a sour taste in some of your mouths and sorry about that guys i could have done her giving christian a hurricane rana off the ladder i could have done her whacking spike dudley with a steel chair i could have even done her taking all those six steel chair bumps from stone cold steve austin there's no bias towards lita I had the pleasure of interviewing her and meeting her several times. She even sent a lovely video that we showed at my wedding to congratulate my husband and I. Nothing but love for her, and I hear you guys, and I empathize with you. So moving forward, just to make sure this is a show that you guys really want to watch and something you guys want to see, I'm gonna be putting out on Twitter and Instagram questions for different topics. I've already put one out for a future episode, as you might have noticed. So on Twitter, look out for questions on Jake isn't Jacob, and on Instagram stories, look for Jake Not Jacob Smith. I want your voices to be heard. I want this to be a show for women's wrestling fans because that's what this is at the end of the day. We're a very niche group of fans. We're very passionate and we really care. Women's wrestling fans were the minority for a while. I think we've all been that person who was the only one standing on their feet at a wrestling show in the past. This is a place where we should all feel included and we should all feel welcome. So I apologize for making any Lita fan not feel welcome last week. We'll get off on a better foot this episode, I hope. Thank you guys for making your voice heard. I truly appreciate it. All right, guys, that is some of the crappiest women's wrestling figures of all time. I know there are tons more. You know, what are some of your least favorite women's wrestling figures? Tell me in the comments below. But don't worry, we're also gonna do some of the best ones too. So if you have a favorite women's wrestling figure, let me know. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Um, happy holidays, guys. Hope you guys get all of the women's wrestling figures you want under the tree. And if you don't, it could be worse. You could be getting one of the ones I showed today. See you next time.